Hello, Alan Gilbert with Autodesk, and this is part 9 in our AutoCAD Civil 3D Tips and Tricks series, which was first presented at the Florida Users Conference Fall of 2015. Let's move on to our tip. So if I just want quick surface cut and fill without making a 10 volume surface, this command uh, used to be in the software before the dashboard, the volumes dashboard came out. But uh, the nice thing is, even though it was removed from the menu, it is still, of course, in Civil 3D, and we can issue the key and report surface volume to access it. Okay, so what we're going to show is uh, some volume analysis, and we're going to show an option that uh, used to be around years ago in Civil 3D, this uh, command that was taken out of the ribbon. It's still available and still a nice tool, and uh, this is, again, for those that have not been around Civil 3D that long. So I have an existing ground surface, and I have a proposed roadway surface. This represents the, an overlay surface for road rehab. If I go to output, I'm sorry, analysis or analyze, we have several ways to get cut and fill volumes, whether it's from a, a report here, just compute and report on it. And we also have what's called the volume dashboard, which has been in Civil 3D for quite some time now. And this is where you either pre-create a 10 volume surface or create it on the fly. There's a way to create it on the fly. And this dashboard keeps up with my cut and fill between these two surfaces. I have cut and fill factor. And the nice thing is I can turn these on and off with a switch. If I don't have this one displayed, but if I did, I can turn it on and off and I can keep it running total. It doesn't go away. So that's the nice, really nice thing about the volume dashboard. But a command that was removed from the ribbon in Civil 3D years ago was kind of a quicker method, kind of a one and done method. But it is still in the key in, of course. So it's report surface volume and also it's sister command report surf, surface bounded volume, which just lets you control where you're computing surface volume from. So if I go to report surface volume, Instead of a 10 surface, I can just create an entry. And I'll just say my base surface, which is there's my existing. And I'll pick the same overlay surface that I picked before. And immediately I get feedback for cut, build, net. And I also have uh, adjustment factors here. But when I'm done there, if I run the command again, you can see it's history. So that was more than one and done, but still a nice command when you maybe don't want to make a volume surface, you just want to run a quick count, uh, maybe you're running some scenarios.